tomorrow. That's right, Saturday, going to be a very important day, special day on Gladstone. It's the grand opening of the Ottawa Glass Blowing Co-op. And we get all the details right now with a member of the co-op. It's Melody Jewett joining us on their daytime. Hello, Melody. Hello. Thank you for having uh, me. Well, thank you for being here and all this fancy stuff right in front of me that can easily be broken. Ah, yes. I'm yeah. a bit clumsy. Watch yourself. Okay. <laughs> I know. I can't afford it. Okay, so uh, Melody, what is glass blowing exactly? Uh, it's an H and R form where um, glass is melted down in a big vat of uh, a big furnace, and it's mm -hmm. kept at a very, very high temperature, 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And you dip in with some solid steel poles or hollow steel poles, and you blow up and inflate the glass and manipulate it into different forms. Wow! How long have you been doing this? 15 years. 15 yeah. years. Okay. So yeah. where do you do your work? Are Are you already at the co-op? I was part of the previous uh, business that was there, uh, Flow Glass Blowing, mm -hmm. and that closed in the spring. So the uh, resurrection of this co-op has been actually all the members that really wanted there to still be a, a studio in the city. Mm -hmm. So now we're a non-profit. So there's obviously a need for this. In yes. The city. Yeah. Okay. We're seeing some uh, footage as well of uh, some glass blowing going on, and it just it doesn't look like it looks like you could hurt yourself, couldn't you? Uh, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's hot, so immediately it could be a burn, but that's why, yeah, there's classes, so the instructors are with you uh, mm -hmm. all the time, and it's a really low risk in a class setting. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, this is the only uh, co-op, only facility for glass blowing in the city? Yeah, it's an expensive medium, an expensive art form to start, so uh, there's, there's the one, and uh, if the old studio hadn't uh, been able to move into this, then there would have been none. Mm -hmm. So it's important to have. Okay, so what exactly happens at this co-op? Uh, so you can uh, become a member and use the facility to rent and make your own work. There's a lot of local artists that uh, are on this table beyond myself. Mm -hmm. uh, and aside from that, if you have an intrigue or a, a like or a love for glass blowing, you can come in and learn for yourself. Okay, so no experience really necessary? No, most of, of our classes that we list are no experience necessary. Yeah. I'm guessing though all the pieces that you brought here with you today though have some experience behind them. Yeah, some, yeah. absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Where would you like to start with uh, the pieces that you have brought in? Um, so this bowl here is some examples of some of the classes you could take. Um, the big one that we're doing right now is the vintage ornaments, which okay. is uh, blown down into a mold, and mm -hmm. then you actually shape it into the shape. So mm. you could take that as a, a non-experienced individual okay. and come and take a class. Can, can I ask you quickly, so the... the uh, uh, those pieces, how long would they take individually, would you say? Uh, if you're rehearsed at doing it, maybe less than 10 minutes. Hmm. Uh, if you've never done it before and wow. were trying to lead on your own a lot longer. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, yeah. What else have you brought with you? And, and whose pieces have you brought? So uh, I brought some of the artists that will be there tomorrow. We have four of our more premium, like experienced glass artists uh, demonstrating. This mm -hmm. one here is uh, the first to go tomorrow at noon. It's Jeff McIntosh. He's one of our lead teachers in the studio. What is that actually? That's, sort of well, that's a good that question. Legs. It's sculpture. <laughs> I am not allowed to define it. I'm sure he has a particular <laughs> uh, uh, function behind it. And okay. then this piece here, which is a, a large life or real to size axe is made by uh, yeah it's quite heavy I yeah. would say not touch it <laughs> <laughs> that's made by uh, Dean and Aliska Smiley they're gonna be on at 3 p.m. and uh, these pieces here this is myself this guy and then some of the more sculptural work hmm. um, so I work in a variety of different ways but sculpture as well as uh, blown and functional work okay. and, and it is it's quite sturdy it's quite I mean it, it is it's got some weight to it yeah the goal is to give it a good sturdy base so that uh, it's not that easy to tip <laughs> okay uh, when it comes to rental space I mean what is being offered up exactly how big are the spaces the space has been expanded actually we knocked out a whole room in order to give as much opportunity for the artists to, to put it out as they'd like it and use the space accordingly. Mm -hmm. There's two benches that you could use if you had an assistant or you're working in a team. Uh, but generally speaking, you rent the entire unit as a, a whole facility. Okay. Now, now what, you, what comes along with rental? Is there equipment? Uh, the equipment actually is provided. So we have tools and pipes and whatnot. The only thing the artist would have to bring is their own color. Okay. You did mention it is a teaching facility. There's classes. So when do the classes happen? They happen usually on the evenings in the week and then uh, Saturdays or maybe some Sundays. But we're trying to leave a lot of openings in the schedule so that uh, people who want to become members and do their own work can get in as well. Mm -hmm. Lots of family fun to be had tomorrow? Yeah, 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 absolutely. We actually teach kids as young as sick and, and we six and we can do birthday parties and little things like that. But okay. tomorrow especially, it'll be kind of gated off where no one should be entering in and the the less safe zones uh, and okay. there'll be bleachers up and people can view and that 
4 p.m. we'll actually be having an appetizer hour, so we're mm. actually going to be cooking the stuff in the furnace. Okay. Like popping popcorn out of bowls, all sorts of really? wild things that uh, you could then the eat furnace. right after. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now the event tomorrow is free as well, right? Definitely free, Which yeah. Is great. Yeah, and we just want to get as many people out as possible to uh, see what glass blowing is and why it's so exciting. Okay, the exact location of this event tomorrow? Uh, it is 957C Gladstone Avenue at the corner of Loretta. Okay. So it's a little bit west of downtown. And there's plenty of opportunity uh, for people to drop by. It's happening from noon till 5. Um, and yeah, so, so kids, people can even try their hand at glass blowing tomorrow. Tomorrow we won't be asking the audience to do anything. They can, they can view, With, they can make They can sure, view a whole find out more about uh, array of different demonstrations from some of our most expert glass blowers. Some, Wonderful. for instance, Dean and Aliska, they've been blowing glass for over 30 years. Perfect. Thank you, Melody. Thank you. Have fun tomorrow. Thank you very much. More daytime Thank you coming for having up me. On Rogers TV.